little dancer came dancing to my door. Last night a little angel came pumping on the floor. She said, Come on, baby, I got a license for love. And if it expires, What's up, YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here. It's super easy guitar. You might have guessed it's Rebel Yell by Billy Idol. Let's zoom in and get straight into it. So you're probably wondering what happened to that wonderful Steve Stevens intro. Well, I find it too difficult to play on the acoustic and it really puts strain on my wrist. So I'm thinking if that's if it's like that with me on this guitar, then perhaps you guys might have the same problems. But I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. And it's this kind of thing here, and I'm holding my pick like this. You can do it with hybrid picking. So what I'm doing there, I'm holding a bar at the seventh fret, okay, and then I've got my pinky in the tenth fret, barring across the top two strings, the E and B. And what you want to do is pluck the top two strings and the bottom E at the same time. But then you're going to keep this going, right? So you go one, two, three. And then you're going to put the third finger on the ninth fret on the A string. Okay, so put that together. And then at the end, I'm just going, I'm going seven, nine on the D string. So. And it repeats. Yeah, so I didn't do it in the beginning because it's too painful and I just hit that. It's kind of a Stevie Ray thing, that, right? Um, and I do it down here. I just do that, that rhythm thing he's got going on. Okay, so whatever way you want to play it, it's entirely up to you. So I start off. So second fret on the A string. One, two, three, and then third fret on the fourth, sorry, third string on the fourth fret on the D string, or the fourth string, or whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going two, four on the G string. And 
goes twice, right? Okay, so just get used to that. Then we've got this next section. Now, obviously, I've adapted all this. It's not on the electric guitar, so I've kind of simplified it, all right? So it's slightly different, but you'll, you'll get a feel for it, okay? So I'm going O, 2, and then I'm playing this G back power chord. I nearly said bar chord then, but it's a power chord. Sometimes you see me play it with three fingers. You could play it three fingers like that. Whatever you're comfortable, or if you're a beginner, just the two fingers. Some people like to use the pinky. I always recommend not to use the pinky because then later on, you can, you can swap the fingers. And, you know, and do something else with the pinky. So anyway. Da da. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So then I just go down to F sharp. From G to F sharp is just one fret, still on the power chord. And then E. And then it goes O, oh, two, three. It's just the same thing again. So sometimes you see me doing this one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like a little triplet. I don't always get it right. It kind of sounds cool. So you just have to, you know, practice that and do it really quickly. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Okay. And you can't see here, but I'm not using the elbow. I'm using the wrist. Okay. So let's play that bit slowly. I'm doing a bit of palm mute in here as well, right? On the bridge. That's how I'm getting that sound. Strokes. Okay, then I just go over to the. I'm playing the B power chord here. You can do it like that. That's just the second fret on the A string and the fourth fret on the D string. And it's actually, it feels like, they're playing fifths, but it feels like a minor key. So I guess you could add that in as well. The second finger on the third fret on the B string, if you wanted. But it's probably better to play in fifth chords, power chords, okay? Obviously, you could do it up there. There's all different ways. And then I've got this... I'm using the open chords because acoustic and all, we want things to sound open if you're playing by yourself. D, down, up, down, A, down, up, down, and back to the B. Sometimes you see me playing A with my one finger. And if you do it like, like that, uh, using one finger to bar across the fourth, the third, and the second string, don't play the top E. Make sure you mute it. Otherwise, it'll sound, yeah, it'll sound wrong, okay? Let's play that whole intro a little bit slowly. And, like, let me just play that correct for the timing, okay? To kind of get that da da, I'm just removing, I'm leaving my third finger down and removing this 
first finger to expose the open A. The third finger doesn't move. And that just adds a bit more interest, okay? Da 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 And again, you see me instead of barring, I'll put my pinky on there. I use this this technique just so when I want to play those open strings, they're available. Um, it's you know, there's no one way of ever doing a chord, all right? So just play it how you feel comfortable. Now the first verse, really easy. So just stay on that B. Let's not a little dancer game dancing to my door. Now go to D, but palm mute. Let's not a little angel game G pumping on the floor. So that's G and E at the end. So so far we've got B. Okay. Listen and play along, okay? And then D. And G. E. And then you can do that turn around. And that's just D, A, B. You don't have to do the triplet. You can just do. And in fact, that's what goes on on the record. I'm just. I'll probably over, overplay this triplet thing. Uh, it's just when. I'm performing it and you kind of get into it, you know. So just D, A, B. The same thing repeats, okay? The chorus, what I tend to do is try and open things out a bit in the chorus. So again, it's just that B. In the midnight hour. So I'm no longer palm muting. I'm keeping everything really open. In the midnight hour. And I've gone from just downstrokes two down ups. You have to be careful to, you don't always hear me doing it, but I'm, I mute these top two strings. See now and again, that sometimes they just creep in or I let the opens ring out. Down up, down, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down. It's really easy, okay? Just keep it down ups. D down up with the rubber yell, she cried G. G, G, E. <laughs> Getting carried away with that. So, B in the midnight hour. She cried more, more, more. And over to D. The rebel yell. She cried G, G, E. And that AD is very quick. Let's do that a bit slower. In the midnight hour, she cried more, more, more. With the rebel yell, she cried more, more, more. In the midnight hour, babe. Should be D with the rebel yell. It slightly changes. More, 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 more. So for each chord, he just says more. D A B. More, more, more. Then to go to verse two, you can go back to these downstrokes with a muting. And that just separates the chorus from the verses and it just adds a few dynamics, makes things a bit more interesting. So second verse, same as the first verse. Second chorus, same as the first chorus, except at the end, he doesn't go more, more, more. He goes, he plays D, D. So in the midnight hour, babe, this is the second chorus, more, more, more. With the rebel yell. More, more, more. D, D. Okay? D, D. Then we're into the bridge. Now the bridge is kind of like the intro. Back to this. O, 2, G, 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 F sharp. 
and then E. And I'm playing all this in power chords. E, uh, what's the words? Here we go. He lives in his own heaven. So you can see the E is just bottom E string, second fret of the A. Still muting this now, it's all muted in the bridge. O, oh, two, three. Collects it to go from the 7 11. Just do the same thing. Now I didn't do it, but he there's a third verse there. Okay, so you can you can add the third verse in. It's the same as the other verses, except the lyrics are different and the feel is a little bit different. Okay, so by all means, add the third verse. Um, actually, before the third verse, is a solo. Now, if you've got a friend playing the guitar and he wants to play the guitar solo, it's just B minor. Okay. Okay. So I'm not going to kind of show you the solo. I don't think it sounds that great on the acoustic. Yes, I could make it sound great, but it'd take a bit of work and, you know, I'm as busy as you guys. So um, the solo goes there. Now the chords behind the solo are just the chorus. You could have a bit of rhythm in there. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, uh, that should have been a G, E, D, A, and repeats, okay. And it just goes for the same amount of time as a chorus. Now, and then after the solo, third verse, chorus, and outro. Now the outro, yeah, just give it a listen round. The chords, again, are just the same as the... Uh, the, the chorus, okay, the outro, but it's just, again, slightly different lyrics, played slightly different. The most important thing about learning any songs, guys, are listening to the original, trying to play along. Come up with your own little version, but try and learn the original first. And again, like I said, I've simplified stuff to make it a bit easier to help you, okay? So there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to receive these lessons every week. And there's some links below for Instagram and Facebook. And I've also done a link for Spotify where I've made a playlist for virtually all the songs I've done lessons for. So check that out. And some of you might not know, I don't get paid for these lessons. So I've put a donation button on my website. If you'd like to support me, that would be amazing. It's just a little thing goes a long way. Okay, so thanks very much, guys. And I'll see you again the same time next week. Mm -hmm.